you start walking on the reef or the beach or the sand and the smell of fresh air and salt water just hitting your face. It's just something you don't get in the city. I learned how to surf when I was six years old because of my dad. I think one of the most important things he taught me was to wake up really, really, really ridiculously early so we can get the lineup all to ourselves. He just like tell me, you know, this is how we become one with our waves when we get it all to ourselves. Being out in the open ocean on a really big day, a lot of things can happen. But once I'm on the wave, I'm really not thinking of anything. I think the best part is right when you take off and you make that drop. It feels like you're flying. It's such a magical experience for me. Your feet would hurt a lot of times when you're wiping out on a wave. Imagine you're in a washing machine. You're getting tumbled over and over and over again. But it's all worth it in the end, really. I always feel blessed that I am a surfer. When I'm out there in the ocean, that's the place where I feel closest to God. You see the sun, you see the sunrise, you see the sunset, you see the sky, you see the clouds, you see the water, you see fishes underneath you, and you see just everything that's beautiful. I know I'm gonna be surfing for the rest of my life. Surfing has given me a whole new perspective when it comes to taking care of our oceans and it has given me the heart to really care for the environment more. I want to continue surfing and our beautiful oceans and our beautiful beaches. I want my children to see it. I want my children's children to see the beauty of our Earth. My game plan in life is to do everything I can in my power to make this world a better place.